and we got the chimney the siding off we'll show you what's going on here Always the right direction. Time to call with a vein. Let's start from the bottom side uh, first of all the flashing is supposed to extend a minimum of two inches vertical uh, they've got about an inch here and then at this uh, point here it's actually supposed to be a continuous flashing all the way across here um, you can see that it's actually multiple different pieces of flashing that they used um, just to cheapen it up a lot of rust here and you can see evidence of water damage all along the top of this um, also as we take a look we notice we don't see a house wrap on the outside of it uh, wasn't code to do it I would recommend probably doing it um, if, ever, if we ever get recited completely but for right now we're gonna fix that a little bit later I'll show you uh, as we move around the corners um, so this is the corner board of the siding here you can see that all of them are cut very very tight to the siding here and what's gonna happen is that the water is gonna run down this wall here it's gonna enter a track at the very bottom of the siding and all the water will be funneled right into this corner well since there's no relief behind here for the water to flow through what happens is all the water goes in there and it fills this with muck you can see the muck right there uh, once we have that, we've got pooling water on the roof and it's going to lead to a leak eventually. Um, going up the sidewalls, you can see where they hand bent uh, the step flashing. And it's actually curved here, so that gives water momentum to go this way a little bit. Not a ton, um, but a little bit. Also, the flashings are pretty short uh, as far as going up the wall. We're going to extend that up a little bit more and we'll show that in a later video. At the top corner, again, we're seeing the corner boards tight. And as we explained, if you can see behind there, there's muck and all kinds of stuff coming out of there which means water has run behind there and gotten trapped in the past so go to the other side of the chimney somebody's tried to repair here before we have a different style of flashing on the back wall of the chimney we do have some sort of a nice water shield product here i don't know exactly how it's installed or how well it's installed yet but we'll figure that out um, also on the back of the chimney we see water damage all the way up this corner board um, not enough to replace the wood but traces of water and that's coming from there it looks like it's been freshly caulked at the top so i'm going to consider that that's already fixed well, coming around to the other side uh, we've got a just a worse job really shingling but the same problems uh, with the step flashing that's short uh, corner boards are tight to the roof uh, so those are the problems we're going to fix let's tear this apart and take a look at what it looks like all right so now we've got the chimney apart and we're taking a look at what we see here so we do see ice and water shield that's applied six feet up or two courses up on the eave edges but what we can see at the edge of the chimney is down here they've run their ice and water shield short. So in our next video, uh, next part, you'll be able to see how we do ours differently. We run it up the side so we can't leak. Um, but all the way across here there's a huge gap and there is actually no ice and water shield even under be below where the uh, J channel was on the siding. So this is direct leak right into the, uh, right into the condo. Um, as we go up the side we see the same thing. We do see on the back of this that this cricket or this triangle portion is secondary, so somebody has tried to fix it before. Uh, that's why the different color flashing. But um, the corners weren't done real well. I don't know if you can see, but as we were tearing things out, they had nails right into the center of the valley. Uh, those nails need to be held six inches outside of the valley on either side, and that's just general good roofing practice. So we'll go around the other side. Uh, we see them even worse. Um, no ice and water shield really within, I'd say, an inch and a half or so of the sidewall. And again, that's direct path into the condominium. Um, and at the head wall, the same thing uh, all the way around. So um, I am glad to see some ice and water shield here, but the details weren't done correct. If there's an ice dam uh, out here backing water in, you're going to get water right, in the, right into the chimney right here. Um, not a good situation. So uh, we'll show you how we fix it. Okay, so now we have the new ice and water shield applied, and you can see it goes up the chimney, a minimum of four inches, but we overkilled it in a few spots here. Um, but we can see that ice and water shield is here, and then it's shingled to the next one, uh, so there's another row of ice and water shield up the side of the chimney there. The corners are already done to where we can't see into the house. The ice and water shield is already sealed at the corner, so even if we have an ice dam that backs up to here, this is already waterproof. So, um, work our way up the chimney. Uh, back side of the saddle the same way the corners are already completely sealed up so no water can get through there um, at the very peak of it we've sealed that up too to make sure no water can get in there or this side same thing good ice and water shield it's all sealed up along here um, through here 
and a pinhole um, or the hole at the bottom here is all sealed up so nothing can get through so that's the ice and water shingles. All right, shingles and flash shingles are installed. Uh, open head wall. This will be cocked up when I'm done. I don't want to before the siding. Um, each of our corners are done the way the NRCA, National Roofing Contractors Association, wants them done. We've got them wrapped, dog-eared, and the pinhole sealed. Uh, also additional, just a little diverter we put on them. Keep water out of the track. Uh, shingles up the side as well as um, four-inch flashing going vertical on top of our ice and water shield. All of this will get covered over and counter flashed by the uh, siding itself. I'm going to go up to the cricket side. Again, the same basic corner detail, just on a little bit of a different angle. Step flashed up the side. Our valleys on our cricket are cut two inches to the high side of center. Uh, center's about here, two inches to the high side. Each one of them, the back side has been dog eared and sealed. So that's the way that they want them. New cap. Step flashing run up the back of the seat, uh, back of this correctly, counter flashed here, so uh, sealed the pinhole here as well. Uh, beneath here, there's also about a, a little bit more than a quarter sized uh, sealer. There's no hole here, but the sealer's up here. Uh, anyway, that's done right. Coming around this side, same thing, uh, same corner detail, uh, same diverter, uh, same bend over, everything shingled all down the sides. Back to the other side where our shingles are installed and our flashing are installed. Same NRCA detail right here. And that's the flashing. Okay, siding is all reapplied. Uh, corners you can see are cut high so the water can flow underneath them. All the corners here. All the corners are high, right where we want them. The siding is looking good on the whole chimney. The entire area looks pretty good. Shingles are a little bit different, but those will blend in over time. Always the right direction. Time to call where the vein. Oh, where the vein. 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 Where the vein.